just an average day of, of looking at um, Maple Story th news. Hold on, what's this? I, oh. Is that real? You can you can make custom skins in Maple Story 2? Oh my Hi guys, Laurie Moon here and welcome back to another Maple Story 2 video. I'm I'm making these now. I wanted to make a little video about skinning in Maple Story 2. This is a legitimate feature. You can custom make skins, you draw on like pixel art, you can do it on paint or Photoshop or whatever, and you can make your own custom skins. So Without further ado, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of background knowledge of Genapt 2 and what I know of the skin making stuff in that game, and how much of it is similar to Maple Story 2. This is, if it's like, sorry, I probably should have explained to any new audience members out there who don't know what Genapt 2 is. Genapt 2 is an online fighting game that I played consistently for five to six years, and one of its most unique and outstanding features is the detail in its player made skin customization. You can literally make anything you want, as long as you have the time, patience, and skills to make it. You can make a character from an anime, here's the protagonist from Persona 3, and Raven from Tales of Vesperia that I made. You can make your own characters, here's the classic Laurie Moonskin that I used for many, many years. Or even borrow themes from another source and create an inspired work. Laurie dressed up as Asmul. Laurie dressed up as Squall. Laurie dressed up as a Pillar Squad member. Laurie dressed up as Gintoki. Hey, I just preferred playing as myself dressed in other characters' outfits. There's no limits! You can pixel by pixel craft the perfect outfit. And with the hair pieces in Get Up 2, you can even polygon edit to turn parts of the hair into jackets, capes, swords. It's insane! Polygon editing is indeed only doable with the hair pieces, however. Weapons in game and the body parts are locked in. So, if a body piece has a jacket, then you need to work with that jacket. You can't make it longer or shorter or add a collar or anything. And weapons? There's no skin customization for weapons at all. Y you get what you're given. Why am I going into so much detail about Genapt 2 all of a sudden, I bet you're wondering? Well, it seems very likely that Maple Story 2 will have this exact same feature to almost the exact same level of depth. In this picture, for example, you can see how someone has made the character Dio from Grand Chase, am I saying that right, in Maple Story 2 by custom editing all of the body parts. Just like with the Get Out 2 skin customization, you have specific zones which correspond to the parts of the body. This part here will be projected onto the jeans, and here you can see pants in Maple Story 2, and this part will be for the gloves, and here you can see a gloves item in Maple Story. The level of customization is practically the same. One thing MapleStory has that Genapt 2 doesn't is the custom weapon customization. In Genapt 2, all of the weapons are pre-designed. You get what you're given, as I said before. But in MapleStory 2, however, is that a girl wearing a Breath of the Wild outfit and a Hylian shield? Why? Oh my! Oh my goodness! Overwatch inspired outfits too? What? Shout out to Sky on Reddit. Can't wait to see what else you can make. From what I've seen so far, unlike Get Out 2 with the potential to polygon edit to make things look even more identical to what they're based on, or create new clothing pieces, Maple Story 2 will not have custom polygon editing. You are restricted to the set pieces you can buy and can only paint on them to create a new appearance. And weapons may only have one type of body base? Warriors and archers have a specific sword and bow to edit on, but the magician classes get this weird block staff. And heavy gunners! A, a, a big rectangle. Mind you, you can make an Oreo box out of this, but you can't make a gun, so what's the point? It's kind of silly, really. One of the coolest things in this whole process is that the skins you make can then be sold in a cash shop styled marketplace. And not just for mezzos or the in game currency in Maple Story 2, they can be sold for a real money equivalent, like Nexon Cash. In Get Amped 2, skins were sold with the in game currency. And it was nice to get some extra cash, but, you know, once you've played the game for as long as I had, that held no value anymore, because you'd bought all of the limited number of in-game currency weapons. Everything else was real money. In Maple Story 2, with real money currency being on offer for making skins, some players could make a legitimate business here. Sure, sharing your work with others is nice and all that, but having a monetary incentive like this is awesome. Heck, even I might have to try my hand at skin making. And, if it's anything like skin making in Get Em 2, I'll probably be able to do a decent job. I mean, I can use Photoshop and all that, but 
you know, my skins probably won't be as good as my friend Renshin, because he made all of my <coughs> best skins for me. <coughs> Shh, don't, don't tell anyone. Wait, I mean, it's not a secret, actually, never mind. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all I have to say. Oh, I'm not even looking at the camera. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all I have to say. I'm gonna post in the video description a link to a place where you can find all of the body bases and, and weapons and things that are editable on MapleStory 2. It even says at the bottom of this that these are all bases from Alpha, Beta, and the Final Beta. So hopefully these will be in the final game as well. With this in mind, perhaps you'll want to start making your own custom MapleStory content to... to... to MapleStory 2 content early something to consider. Actually, you know, I think I might start making something as well. I might just make like a simple red beanie or something. Like, Anyway, thank you for all of the support on my MapleStory 2 videos. I've reached a whole new audience and I'm really, really happy about that. So I hope you'll subscribe and stay tuned for more MapleStory 2 hype, because I'm certainly hyped. And it would be nice if you check out my, my other videos of MapleStory and put in them here and maybe give me a, is it, uh, you give me a like? I hear that, um, this is, this is a good thing, and they're quite valuable as well, um, when you get those on your videos. Actually, can I, can I actually, like, how do I redeem my likes for, like, goods and services? Like, 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 do I get anything, or how?